Corey inside the forward 50. Behind the pack, Jones. Ablett burrows in, tries a hand pass. It was smothered. It goes out of bounds. So much individual brilliance in the Geelong forward line with uh, just see uh, Stephen Milne copying a nasty one there. But Gary Ablett, Paul Chapman, Steve Johnson all licking their lips, I reckon, for that one opportunity to seal the game. Blake wins it down. Del Sando brushes it with the boot at best. Gilbert, Eddie. Back comes Gilbert, left it behind, out of the congestion, Chapman, how will it bounce? Awkwardly for all of them, third man in the queue, Fisher a half chance, now Barco intercepts Dempster's hand pass, and it's less than a goal. Still plenty of time, four and a half minutes of the G. Just spells danger, Barco, when he gets the ball, he hasn't got a yeah. lot of the ball, but when he gets it, you feel like something will happen all the time. Just the ball has hardly left Geelong's forward half for yeah. about five minutes it's just so hard to defend without getting the ball out of your defense 15 to yeah. one inside 50s in this quarter yeah and they've kicked a goal with that one revolt up the ground again and then montagna breaking guard of the two ruckmen out on the ground at the moment that's going to be really important here this this stoppage here st kilda would like to get it out in open uh sorry geelong would love to get it out in open st kilda really need to just batten down surge it forward if they can Gardner probably just won the tap. Hayes went to ground. Stokes. Ray. Ball comes out. High tackle. Silwood. Can you imagine a more painful loss for the Saints if they were to drop this one? Maybe well, last year's good and fine. Well, I think it. this reinforces Go what on, happened that day, him. though. I think <laughs> they <laughs> liked themselves Bring tonight. Well, they at 33 points out, yeah. looked home, didn't they? You take him out. And you wouldn't think it is going to be able to make the distance. No, the distance will trouble him. There you go, the talk. No, long drop punt. No, he's gone the talk, Lee. He struck it for distance. Oh. It's a behind. <laughs> well, to judge me. Uh, they've actually, about five minutes now, they've hung on for St Kilda. Yep. Without Geelong. Got yeah. a couple of behinds. You start to now get to three minutes. You know, once you get yeah. to two minutes, you've got some chance of hanging on, and they're whittling it down the uh, clock, which is really all they're concerned with. How accurate are the players with the knowledge of how long to go, do you reckon, Tom? Yeah, look, the uh, the runners obviously play a really crucial part, so they're not going to know the players without the help of the runners. You'll see them out there uh, ever-present. You can see them both out there at the moment from the position that we're at. They'll be saying there's David Johnson, the Geelong runner, telling Matthew Scala, who's the general of the side, he'll be setting up from half-back and just passing that message down and he'll be the anchor defender just surging the ball back into the forward 50 for the Cats. Wonderful game to start the AFL final series. Revolt up on the ball, wins the tap. Big scramble. That does the Saints. This is where they, 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 you can't, because you can't fall on the ball, yeah. it just makes the game even more tense, doesn't it? Because players know I just can't jump on and hold it in. Selwood hurriedly onto the boot, down towards full forward. Time test. Dawson. In this term, one goal to one seven. Dawson drives it towards the outer side. Chance for the Saints to break. The famous number 27 takes the mark. This is work rate. Both sides need to go back, find their direct opponent, deny the opposition the ball. Also, the St Kilda players need to work their backsides off to create space, not only for themselves, but their particular teammates. So, Grill, it's a long kick, kicks to a contest. Uh, Lovely uh, mark by Scala. And Scarlett, oh, got slipping over Chapman. Hard ball for Gilbert. Oh, Brilliant nice. Hayes. Ball still to anyone. Gilbert there. Still not out this footy. That's where Kaczynski has to push back harder, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's a big man just to make sure that uh, Scarlett can't mark it. Look at that. Dominated this half. Somebody, this told, you that, somebody told you at three quarter time that have 17 to 1 inside. You say, by how far? Yep. Contested possessions also. I mean, that's how they're getting the ball. But one goal, seven, though. Well, in boxing parlance, we've seen a rope of dope from the Saints. And Kelly needs a cut man right now. It's not, gates. not insignificant. James Kelly, the leading tackler for the Cats with 10 out there. He's the one who really thrives in that, con that contested situation. Two and a half minutes to go. Rucks go at it. Well, sort of. Corey was the man up. Revolt into the action. Drives inside the forward 50. It spills towards the boundary and goes out. Clock stops at 2.20. St Kilda need to be really wary. Joel Corey is the Geelong player. He'll go third up every time if they get the opportunity. Whoever's playing on him needs to knuckle him down and be aware that he'll be the man who will launch to clear the space for the Cats. 
And so Revolt's going to be the third man up. Sirwood in tight space though, couldn't really get it out. Hayes was good against Lynn. That was his intention all the time, Revolt, wasn't it? Not be yeah, down follow up. Just keep going to the boundary line. That's all secured. And now that with a wet ball, it's in their forward line. This is where they can really just defend, defend, defend. Gardner won the tap. Hayes, Del Santo just slipped, kicks the ball forward. It'll run out. Just inches and inches, isn't it? Just gaining well, meter. It's very different when it's down the other end of the field. When when the ball, those ball was being played in Geelong's forward half, but now St Kilda have got a chance to uh, to hold this lead without scoring. Revolt again up with Taylor. Taylor pushing forward. Now Jones, 60 metres out. Gives a hand pass off to Hayes. Got Gardner and Blake deep. Under pressure. I doubt it will get that far. Well, Santa in front had it fisted away. It's out of bounds. Certainly a, a favourable matchup for St Kilda Gardner taking this right contest and also the ability to play yeah. forward in a one-on-one -on -one contest against Mark Blake. Outside the forward 50 of the Saints, it's one-on-one -on -one down the ground. So, well, actually, yes, it is still. They can just get a fast ball out of here, Geelong. Who knows? Nothing. That's proving hard to do. Nothing. Wonderful pressure again from the Saints. This is where the wet ball's hard to move it quickly yeah. and with any precision. So it's almost becomes forward footy. And they've done a good job to hold to hold uh, St Gilda, hold Geelong for these last eight minutes. Again, Revolt and Taylor, the third and fourth men now. Del Santo, does he go long or does he try and find somebody? He built it forward and in doing so, Geelong get the ball with Bartel. One last chance, you Brickham, yep. this is it. Oh. Scarlett decides to get it as far as he can, as quickly as he can. Ball now, a chance. Milburn does something similar, hacks it forward. The bouncing anyway. ball important. Dawson, Mooney, Quilt, and now Ling. Oh, horrible. Now back here. Holding the man oh, for the oh, oh, oh. Hello, controversy. I think they've kicked no, the winning goal. It's a free kick. No, it's a free kick. He's in the back. Oh, oh, this is fine. It's in the back. Stakes are so high. You just, well, you just lost yeah, us the game. game. You just lost us the game. Don't you just it. lost us the game. Hey, hang on. You understand that? Cam, it's not over. It's in the back. No, you landed in his back, so has to right, be. Right, that was just a good clean tackle. Uh, he'll, get, he'll get 50s, he's not careful. Steve Mills out there by yeah. himself on the wing, he's come off the bench. Oh! oh. <laughs> Still Gilbert. That was a clever oh. kick, actually. Drew Stokes to the man. <laughs> <laughs> Mill. It's all about possession now for the Saints. We're down to 45 seconds. Yeah. Now, that's where it's down the line now for Secure. Down the line. Hold it in this last 40 seconds. Long down the line, that's what they're going to do. Peach goes for distance. High ball towards the attacking 50. Taylor from behind tries for the mark. It spills to Schneider. Brilliantly done. I think it was out of bounds. It was. We've got the call. Clock stops at 26. This could be a famous victory for St Kilda. Revolt. Selwood. Kicks to centre wing. Peak at the back, Mule quickly belts it on. We want it. They're safe. Geelong are going to have to play four consecutive weeks yeah. to win a third grand final. Something they haven't done in 07 well, or 09. When, when they were going in front with about eight minutes to go, I didn't think it was possible to hold on for eight minutes, but they've done it. Great game of footy. What a result. The favourites have been beaten.